All right, guys, they just admitted what they did. They just admitted to what has been happening the past 72 to 48 hours. This is official. They have just announced that they have been doing experiments while these major solar flares have been going on and while these coronal mass ejections have been hitting the earth, they have been doing major harp experiments admittedly i'm going to show you the documents and everything this is an official document right here as well so let's get into the details here really quick please hit that like hit that subscribe i'm posting multiple updates today keeping you guys ready and keeping you guys updated on this big news all right so you can see here this is a real 100 percent official document from the university of alaska and they said that they have been doing a harp research campaign from may 8th to may 10th 2024 the past 72 hours while all these solar flares are happening they've been activating harp and potentially even amplifying these events because harp creates aurora itself you can see here it's the high frequency active auroral research program that's what it's all about manipulating the ionosphere heating the ionosphere with radio waves and creating artificial aurora like we see during solar events all right so this is big we got them they admitted it they said they're doing this you guys remember nasa was shooting rockets into the solar eclipse they're always doing something with these events and we got them all right so check these documents out here this is official you can see here this is from the university of alaska fairbanks geophysical institute this is an alert that they sent out to all of the amateur radio and radio astronomy communities all right they sent this out on may 2nd 2024 just last week and they are saying that they conducted a massive research campaign from May 8th to May 10th. All right, this is massive. They were doing this during the solar flare. They were running these major tests and potentially amplifying them, potentially making them seem if they can make them more powerful, potentially. Not saying that's what they're doing, but they're doing something. All right, you can see here, May 8th, they did it from 8 p.m. to 2 in the morning. That's what that means, 20 hours to 0, 200 hours. That's 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. They were doing it, and this is Alaska time, All right? May 9th, same thing, 8 p.m. to 2 a.m., and same thing on May 10th, which was last night when you saw these auroras happening and let me know down below if you saw any right crazy i was trying to see them from where i was but i couldn't see any and it was too cloudy but it could happen again tonight as well they're saying there could be more aurora and we actually reached g5 conditions again you can see here this is tonight's forecast all right for may 11th all right, and you can also see here too that G5 conditions were reached again this morning. Again, all right, we had it last night and then uh, early this morning it was hitting again G5, which could cause major disruptions to the power grid and to satellite and internet communication. And people were saying that their satellite internet was completely out, all right? I'll get to that in just a second. All right, but I want to get back to this document. This is 100% real, right? And this is very concerning that they're doing these experiments while these solar flares are happening, right before they're happening. What's going on? What's really going on here? All right, we need to know what's going on. And they put out these alerts to tell people to say, hey, the radio transmissions, your ham radio and stuff is not going to work during this event right we're going to be flooding the atmosphere and your transmissions are not going to go through they're going to be disrupted and that's what they've been doing all while these solar flares and cmes have been hitting the earth so 
I want some answers. I want to know what you guys think. And this is very suspicious and very dangerous, possibly, to be doing these experiments at the same time, right? And you can see here that they are even predicting into Sunday for a G4 or greater watch remains. You can see here it says in effect for Sunday and G3 conditions are possible into Monday. So this isn't over. We're going to see a very similar event tonight for North America, the United States. You're going to possibly be able to see Aurora again, right? So almost two once in a lifetime events happening in a row. So try to enjoy it. Try to at least see it while you can because this is very rare. These are very rare events and you might as well enjoy it while you can. There might be disruptions, outages, things like that, right? But it's also beautiful and this actually is naturally occurring. These aurora do happen naturally, right? And sometimes they can be manipulated, like potentially we're seeing now, but they do happen naturally as well on record for hundreds of years people have been reporting these events and it is beautiful it is a sight to see i've only very very vaguely seen it on a cloudy day in colorado right last year i faintly saw some green and purple in the distance right so it's a cool sight to see enjoy it if you can right but also be on alert because we are seeing major outages of satellite internet as well and communications you can see here people are reporting that their starlink internet is having quote degraded service this is the message that was popping up for people that have starlink satellite internet and it was saying our team is investigating and will resolve as soon as possible and they're saying it was degraded service due to this solar flare this was happening last night and this morning that's what people are reporting and throughout the day internet service has been extremely slow upload and download speeds have been really slow and some people even reporting upload speeds are almost non-existent right you can see here here's the message it says your area is currently experiencing degraded service some websites and applications may temporarily not work or report you are at a different location. So that's what was being reported last night by Starlink and from satellite internet people on social media were reporting that, right? So these disruptions have been happening. There's also massive radio blackouts that are currently happening as well for ham radio and long distance radio communication is experiencing problems because they bounce these radio waves off the ionosphere to have them travel long distances right and when that process is disrupted it blocks the communication it's almost like a jamming signal is in the atmosphere and ionosphere right now that's preventing these normal signals from flowing through it's almost like it's being overwhelmed and jammed right so make sure you have multiple forms of communication right power generation all these things because right you have satellite internet you think you're prepared we have satellite internet you think you're ready and then it's out then it's out from a cme or some kind of weird experiment going on potentially right they're at least doing something just like they were firing rockets into the solar eclipse they're always doing something always testing the waters and pushing the limits and there needs to be full transparency as well we need to know what's going on because harp creates artificial aurora and it could be energizing these storms that are already happening right making them even more severe right so have multiple forms of communication have cell phone landline and satellite if your satellite internet's down hopefully your phone is still working but my cell phone has been extremely slow extremely slow the past 24 hours 
and last night it was barely working last night after i got these videos out it was barely working all right i had to keep flipping it on and off you know like airplane mode on and off to get it working again and even then it was still extremely slow and barely working so these things are being affected there are slowdowns happening right the power grid there was a power grid emergency as well in new zealand yesterday they declared an emergency i forgot to mention that i linked it down below for you guys in the description yesterday but i forgot to mention that too that new zealand actually declared a power grid emergency for this solar events and they actually were turning off parts of the grid to be prepared and be ready and they were warning people that they could flip the switch and turn the grid off to be prepared for this big event all right so it could go either way they could say hey we need to keep it turned off because this is going on or it just gets hit and now it's out now it's fried and now we have outages for months all right so either way you need to be prepared you need to be ready all right these are low probability events not very high you know during these extreme warnings 5 10 15 percent during these g5 events all right but that's still that's a lot for a for something that could cause major disruptions to the power grid right that's a pretty high percentage and i would rather not be in in those betting odds at all right and they don't need to be amplifying these events too with things like harp so let me know what you guys think down below what do you think of this experiment this research program and they actually do these research programs all the time and they put out these pamphlets for them and everything and let everyone know so this isn't a secret or anything these this is open source documents it's just not many people know about it and it's not really talked about all right so please hit it up for me down there to help get the word out help get the warning out so people can see wait a minute why were they doing this it's like when they were starting cern up during the solar eclipse all this stuff why are they doing these experiments during these natural events all right they're doing experiments they're testing the waters and they're seeing what's going to happen right and i don't want to be a guinea pig in the middle of these experiments right and have to deal with the consequences of it and check this out too they make pamphlets for their quote research campaigns that they do all the time they happen maybe every six months something along those lines you can see here they had one in march into february one in november last year august last year december 2022 okay so maybe every six months they do this so the timing of this is very strange all right so let me know what you guys think what are you doing to get prepared and what did you see from this aurora all right i wish you guys could post pictures down below so i could see what you guys saw because i wasn't able to see it so i'm hoping tonight i can see it and people are saying i saw people in mexico uh, posting pictures of it i'm kind of jealous because i want to see it right it's like it's like the whole country has seen it but I, I feel like i'm in this little pocket where i can't see it and it's just cloudy and it was raining all day yesterday right stormy it was actually raining last night too i had my chickens all opened up and i had to run out there and put the flaps down because it started raining and I, I thought the rain was done. It was raining earlier. Thought it was over. I was trying to dry it out, air it out. And I had to run back out there in the middle of the night and put the flaps down because it was raining. So bad weather. I'm jealous. If you're seeing this, at least enjoy it. At least experience it. All right. And people are saying that these auroras are very strange colors. People are saying that they're pink and red orange and they're typically green okay but from what i understand this could be a side effect of these experiments something like that
But from what I understand, it's mostly due to the gases that are being ionized, right? So different gases produce different um, colors when they're ionized. And it's potentially has something to do with the temperature as well, right? Potentially in warmer areas, warmer climates, the aurora is going to show up more red or orange. And it's potentially based on the way that the light is hitting the earth as well, the radiation, the way it's hitting as well. So there's a few things that could be affecting the color of it and just enjoy it, all right? So thank you guys. I hope you have big blessings for your life, your family. Hope you're enjoying this night. They're going to be able to see it again, they said, all right? So check it out and just have your preps ready. Be prepared. So if anything happens, it's not an issue, all right? So thank you guys, and I hope you have a big old blessed day.